And staying with India, in the South Indian state of Kerala, a deadly rare amoeba has claimed the lives of three children. The deadly medical condition has no recognized treatment. More concerning is the fact that it is not even possible to easily diagnose it. Vion's principal correspondent Siddharth MP tells us more about this killer amoeba in Kerala. Three victims in three months, all of them school-going children. Each had displayed common symptoms, headache, fever, vomiting, loss of appetite, loss of sense of taste. And all of a sudden, while undergoing treatment, the condition of the children deteriorated. They went into a coma and soon passed away. Scary and tragic as it sounds, the waterborne mystery illness claimed the three lives in May, June and July this year. Negleria fowleri is an amoeba, a single-celled organism. It survives in warm climate, in freshwater lakes, rivers and hot springs. The amoeba can even be found in swimming pools, tap water or contaminated water. In fact, this deadly amoeba could be lurking anywhere around us. When the amoeba ends up in the human body, it causes a severe inflammation. Eventually, it destroys the brain tissue. In medical terminology, the infection is known as primary amoebic meningoencephalitis or BAM. There are several species of Negleria amoeba, but only the fowlery species can cause harm. The amoeba was first identified in Australia, but it is believed to have evolved in the US. In most cases, the amoeba is harmless, but in rare cases, it can cause harm and death. Ingesting the organism orally doesn't pose problems, but the danger is when the contaminated water enters the body through the nose. The brain-eating amoeba triggers common symptoms of illness within two days or two weeks of entering the human body. Most people succumb within a week. Worse, the symptoms are too common to be specifically identified as brain-eating amoeba. Tragedy can strike even before the doctors understand the true condition of the patient. The amoeba doesn't literally eat the human brain, but the chemicals it releases can dissolve the protein in the human brain tissue. The major threat posed by the brain-eating amoeba is the fact that it's found in all freshwater bodies in tropics, be it the lakes, ponds or rivers. What we're given to understand is that all three children who succumbed in Kerala at some point in time had played in any of these freshwater bodies. They contracted the infection from the freshwater bodies after this particular amoeba entered their nasal passage. There were several others with them, kids and adults who played in those water bodies, but they did not get it, which means it's directly transmitted from water to the nasal passage. There is no case of human to human transmission. But the major challenge is that from getting infected to succumbing, there's only a gap of two weeks and it takes a lot of time to identify this disease and offer specific treatment. In fact, there is also no specific treatment or one drug that can offer a miracle cure against this particular condition known as PAM. Now the Kerala government is devising a special strategy and guidelines to deal with such possible cases in future. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, Vion, World is One. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.